In this video, we're going to define what it means for something to be a zero of a polynomial. So zeros of polynomials. Polynomials. So the values, so the values of x, so the x values, like the numbers you plug in, for which f of x equals 0. So the numbers you plug into your function that make it 0 are called zeros, are called the zeros of f. Okay, these are the zeros. So just a really quick example up here on the side. So you had, it's really simple. So you had f of x equals x minus 2. So what number could you plug in here to make this 0? Well, 2, right? Because if you do f of 2, you would get 2 minus 2, and that's equal to 0. So in this case, the 0 is 2. So it's the number that you plug in that makes, that makes it 0. So 2 is the 0. So the answer is x equals 2. That would be the 0 of f. So the values of x that you can actually plug in to the function that make it 0 are called the zeros. These are the, they're also called roots. These are the roots or solutions to the equation f of x equals 0. So they're the same thing as roots or solutions. So in other words, if you have this example up here, say f of x equals x minus 2, when you ask the question, what's a number that you plug in that makes it 0? So 2. So we know that 2 is a 0. At the same time, if you have f of x equals 0, and you're trying to solve this equation, well, f of x is the same thing as x minus 2. And to solve this, you just add 2 to both sides, and you get x equals 2. So this is a root or solution to this equation. So zeros, roots, solutions, they're all pretty much the same thing. It's just when you think of it as a function, you call it a zero. When you think of it as an equation, you call it a root or a solution. So context kind of dictates uh, what it's called. So what we're interested in is uh, what's called the multiplicity of the zeros. So the multiplicity of a zero, let's say c, is the number of times, so is the number of times x minus c appears in the factorization of f, in the factorization of f. Let me show you what this is. This is actually really easy as well, in the factorization of f. So let's look at some examples where we find the multiplicity of, of zeros. Say we had f of x equals uh, 2x minus 4 squared x plus 11 cubed. So this is a function, and if you wanted to find the zeros, all you would do is you would take this whole thing and set it equal to 0. Then that means that you could just divide by 2 in this case, so the 2 goes away. So you would get x minus 4 squared x plus 11 cubed. Right, so to find the zeros, all you do is you always just set everything equal to zero. And then from here you can see the answer is 4 and negative 11. Those are the zeros. And the multiplicity is the number of times x minus 4 appears. So it's just the exponent here. So the multiplicity of 4 is 2. And then here the multiplicity of negative 11 is 3. So the multiplicity is just the exponent as long as everything is uh, simplified. Here's another example. Say we had g of x equals uh, x plus 4 to the 8th, x minus 2 to the 10th. So in this case, if you wanted to find the zeros, uh, same thing, right? You set this equal to 0. And you can see here it's negative 4. It's whatever makes it 0. And then here 2 is what makes this 0, so 2. So those are the zeros. And in the first case, the multiplicity is 8. Super easy. And in the second case, the multiplicity is 10. And that's it. 
So to find zeros, you just take the whole thing, set it equal to zero, and as long as you've collected like terms, the uh, multiplicity is the exponent.